my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Dirty long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Oh, 
Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> The ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather. In a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. Pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then speed our forth will bring. For noble deeds that honor sing. And slain, Valkyria awaits. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight! For those who fight! Ready yourself, men! Not you, Faber. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
shit. Oh, I will! Speak to Valhalla. Sigurd! Take the horse! All right. Wait here. Die a coward here before the people, and I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Varen. No, Varen! Pick up your axe! <laughs> Too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. <sighs> How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death would be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Eivor Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver! To the ship! Uh. 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 
You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs>
Secure his men. I need to be careful. I must be careful now. not to draw attention here.
Flash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Thank you, old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today, he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! 
You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Should this warriors crawl through Arvel's nest like lice? If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. Show me what lies ahead. Longhouse. The crew should be inside. be an opening in the roof. your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it. Fuck out. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it. Fuck out. <laughs> you coward. Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing. Raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, 
Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Blood for Odin! I will sell you to hell herself! Nail, <laughs> wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you suck of shit! should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Find us. What? Oh, yes, of course. Well, oh, thank you. Kissed. Thank you. Even friend. if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Definitely. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
have yours. The whale road leads us home. Boats, it's about time. Sail Stop out. Yapping Sail and go. start rowing. Aid me. Be my eyes. Rather silent, Davor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Get back to the ship. Run up the sail! Tigre! Jotva will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it! Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor! Such hatred can make you careless! What he did to your father, he did to all of us! You are not in this fight alone!
Let the sail out. See you. Yeah. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right, until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. If he attacked your fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. returns and not half dead we thought we had lost you Eivor for good this time a warm welcome as always Landry you look like red and shit what happened nothing to crow about except to say the men who delayed us are dead and how are you well enough though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king he is not happy with you I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know 